Sagittarius, this is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Um, it is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. And we're going to get into some astrology here. Guys, I understand why you like to avoid, avoid work like the plague. <laughs> because your second house, man, is in Capricorn. You're so exacting on yourself. Listen, if you could have one mantra for this week, it's, progress not perfection progress not perfection progress not perfection because it's this constant like um need like like standards hit like like I, I want my like having those standards high like even having luxury standards <laughs> you know when it comes to any of your second house stuff um I'm not trying to say low your standards but what the f you gotta start somewhere Sagittarius and Right now, there's this kind of energy, especially with like your thought process that's coming through your third house um, that's filled with Saturn and Mercury. And it's just this sense of like, I feel like you're putting too much stress on yourself. You feel like, like you're putting too much pressure on yourself. And ultimately, how that's going to play out is maybe you're starting to put pressure on other people or a sense of like, yeah, yeah, starting to put pressure on other people, but it all stems from one thing. Progress, not perfection. Progress, not perfection. Progress, not perfection. Like, that, that, that's sort of the mantra I want you to keep repeating over and over and over right now. Um, yeah, what's coming in the astrology? Your second house is still filled with Venus and Mars, um, but it's trying to Neptune. So there's just this sense of like not being able to get things done right away or a little bit of slack, like slacking off in a way, not necessarily even from you, not being able to focus is, is kind of common right now, but there's, there's like this slack when it comes to the resources that you have, or even caring about the resources that you, you may need. Right. And yet at the same time, there's just this sense of being ashamed about it like like not feeling good enough because of it it's like oh my god stop killing yourself here um progress not perfection it's not saying that you're not going to get there it's saying take that first step out the door because i've been getting this this sense that this is the time to take the first step but to not expect it to be like the, this first huge step like you're doing a grand jeté across the fucking state like you're flying or something no there's a sense of one step after the other and this is a good time to get out the door as long as you're not exacting or expect that step to be perfect you're only going to be there for a step and then you're going to take another step it's like to make them so permanent feels like you're robbing yourself of the experience of the moment and like you're robbing yourself of the experience of success because you're never really allowing yourself to feel successful unless everything is perfect and you're you're surrounded by exactly what you want to see um yeah so the challenge this week is going to be to allow yourself to do things a little less exacting like to not yeah to 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 allow yourself to dream a little bit and uh allow yourself to maybe even take some time off if you can uh, at least let your mind wander and and see where it's wandering sagittarius because where your mind wanders is really where you want to be your heart your heart's desire is where your mind wanders so there's a sense of why am i not where my mind would wander to and it's a good question to ask yourself and maybe refocus your goal onto getting to that place that your mind always wanders to. All right, let's get into the cards. Oh, I know. Man, my mind has been wandering like crazy too, Sagittarius. Oh, 
Oh, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Welcome. My name is Michelle. I use astrology and tarot to um, get insights and provide them for you every single week. Every single Tuesday is when um, I debut your new reading. Um, these are energy readings so that you guys can know what kind of energy you're working with. Please remember to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so you, that you so you know when I upload your favorite content. You ready? Let's go. Sagittarius. This is Sagittarius. Everything's been acting real interesting, to say the least. Okay, this is farthest out. It's like we're starting far out. And this has been common for this for the, the reading so far this week. Is this sense of like boomeranging back. Where are you boomeranging back to? To your real life purpose. The distraction is there to actually open up your mind to what where it really wants to be. So let's see. We have nothing is wasted, but it's in reverse, right? So it's like it's like not seeing. It's it's like getting ahead of yourself, and and because you're so far ahead of yourself, which happens with fire signs, it's kind of one of the caveats. Is like a sense of always being ahead of yourself, which means you're robbing yourself of of your moment. You're robbing yourself of your present day, and there is an energy of getting way too far ahead of yourself here. And then we have time for a deep dive. It's also in reverse. You haven't looked at things um, clearly enough. You haven't done the due diligence, you haven't done, happy birthday, Doug Danny, you haven't done the research, <clears throat> or there's a sense of uh, robbing yourself of your happiness or the happiness that you, like thinking thinking of everything in the future is, it could be relationship issues, is what I'm saying. <laughs> and then we have transformation is beautiful. And this is face up. So it's saying, wow, what a wonderful time. This is a natural time of transition for you. So you are doing big life changes. But like, where are we? Where are we at? Like, where are we living? Are we living in the future? Or are we living right here right now? Um, living right here right now is going to make the future come a lot quicker. Living in the present moment eats away at times control over you because you're just going to be focused Sagittarius on, you know, um, only wh where your mind wants to be. Right. And so the past doesn't matter and the future isn't stressing you out. There's a sense of, yeah, getting ahead of yourself without really loving where you are missing, missing the beauty missing the beauty that's right in front of you. And that's really the transformative energy is to see the amazing opportunities you have right in front of you. I just feel rushed. Sagittarius, please. Sagittarius, we're gonna get deeper. Be loyal to what you love. Dog spirit. This could be Cancerian energy. Um, be loyal to what you love. And that's what we're coming back around to. This sense of what did you really want? I feel like you I feel like you got way out ahead of yourself. And then you're coming back around. You're coming back around to all these distractions and maybe even maybe even failures or rejections. There's just this sense of it's meant to bring you back around to where you really want to be. Let's get more. This could have something to do with the home, where you are, where you want to be, where you want to live, where you want to settle down, uh, who you want to settle down with. Okay. Hi, cutie. Um, we have trust the great mystery. And that is diving in, right? It's not diving in for progress or to force things to move forward. It's a sense of you're going to make a commitment. You're going to go all in, right? This is a huge moment in your life. Um, there's also a sense of trust that it's happening at the right time. Trust that you can, you can, you can jump and the universe will catch you. Are you jumping ahead of yourself? No, you're allowing yourself to be here, to jump in. There's a, there is an opportunity here. I feel like you're keeping yourself away from it because you're thinking, oh, no, that won't work for way out there. That won't work for way out there. But what works right now? 
what works right now. You're keeping yourself stuck in a, in a stagnated place, Sagittarius, because you're just, you're, you're thinking about only the end goal instead of, but you could move right now and you would be so much closer to that end goal if you would keep that motion going. That's the secret to moving things along is keeping them moving. And it's saying, just let it go. Just, just, just plunge. Take the plunge is what it's saying. Take the plunge with this new living situation, this new arrangement, this new home, this new relationship. Um, take the plunge now and then be disappointed later. No. That's not what it is. It's being disappointed in the present because you're waiting for the perfection of some future moment that will never exist because you never got started. Okay. We have, there is always enough in the past. Um, we have watch and wait. This is double Piscean energy. And we're in Pisces season right now. And then be fearless and bold. Okay, so last year at this time, where were you? That's what I want you to come back with me on. Last year at this time, there was such a sense of drive and power and conviction of character. And now there seems to be doubt. There's doubt because you're not living in the present moment. There's doubt because you're so concerned about the worry. The worry is building of the future. Right here, it's almost like, in other words, if you could have been looking last year at this time when you were looking into the future, this is what you wanted. And now you have it, but you don't appreciate it or you're not letting yourself appreciate it because you're too far gone again. Where's the moment? Wherever is the moment? of just b being completely liberated by the future expectation and to see that you are you are exactly where you're supposed to be right now and to completely live in this moment and let let that moment be and trust that moment <sighs> Sagittarius 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 Sagittarius. Emotional loss. Yeah, you don't want things as bad. It's so interesting. Oh my God. It's so interesting. It's, it's like first emotional loss comes out, you've lost interest. Right? Emotional loss is here. Memories of love. In the past, all you could think of was the, how good things used to be. Where are we? Why are, where are we Sagittarius? Why are we not right here in this moment? Here's your heart. It could be even says that you're changing your mind. You don't want what you used to want. Ah, that's what we get when we realize that's the reward we get when we live in the here and now. It is a sense of finding our heart again. That's, that's what we do, this sense of we're going to give up on something. It's going to lose its glamour. It's going to lose its appeal. We're not going to want it as much. Right? And then, yeah, yeah. Heart chakra is here. It's upright. Knowing what your heart is, your heart has changed its mind. What has your heart changed its mind on? Clean it up. Time for a nap. Okay, so you're blocking yourself. You're not letting your you're 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 not letting yourself see that things are shifting or changing. You're still trying to fix things. Time for a nap is here. Uh, just maybe if I ignore it, maybe if I ignore it, or maybe if I just take a break, take a break from over fixing things. Okay. Clean it up means there's adjustments that will be required. It's basically saying that there's going to be a mess in your hands that's coming because you're setting it up now. Why? 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 Where's the connect? 
Where's the disconnect, I should say? Oh, wait, stop. 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 Flip everything around that I just said. Stop. 150% you have to take this chance now, dive in, or you will regret it. It doesn't look like from this vantage point, it's anything that you want, but it's a fixer upper. It's supposed to be, but ultimately there's just this sense of because it's a fixer upper and because there's actually work to do, you're not as interested or you won't be as interested as you are now. And if you jump in, you're going to be jumping in and getting over your head. You're ta you're, you, you want the change so bad, you're jumping the gun. So no, maybe that it was the same message. I need more guidance for them, please. I need more guidance. What else does Sagittarius need to know? I mean, are you serious? This is Capricorn. Capricorn is your second house. It's better to give rather than receive. That's what it's saying. Central energy. It's better to give. It's time to give. Time to give to who? Okay. It's almost like, once again, I feel like this retrospective, you're trying to make up for lost time. Because you don't want somebody to be disappointed in you in the future. You want to set them up so that they don't have to regret or not so they don't have to work hard. But yeah, so it's not like it doesn't take out of them. Wait. Memories of love. You're paying for something. You're putting a huge investment down. This is current. But it's a fixer upper. And it's it eventually there's a sense of leading to discouragement. Are you so let me let me just say this to you right now. Are you investing too much? just because you want to feel something change you want to feel the change you want to feel the shift but is this the right option for you it doesn't look like it is there's going to be too many complications coming at you because you didn't allow yourself to wait you don't want to wait though okay fine so don't wait but on something else like let yourself go somewhere but don't make this huge like don't plop this in right now because it's, it's going to just irritate the crap out of you and you're going to be sorry that you did it. This is like, this message is coming to you at the perfect fucking time because it's like, it's like you just want to jump in because you just ever see that movie crash. <laughs> you know, it's like people doing unhealthy shit to themselves because they just need to feel something. That's almost what I'm getting out of this. This sense of you just need to feel something. You just need to feel something move. Now, maybe this isn't you. Maybe this is one of your family members. You're afraid they're acting too quickly. They're just, they're just lump summing it all in. And they're going to really pay the, pay the price down the road when they're in over their head because they didn't look at this is the story they didn't they did it it's clear somebody's not looking at they're, they're not they're not seeing the value of something they're missing it because they didn't look deep enough and ultimately i think this is this is going to wear on them 
and then they're going to have to fix something up. So what is, what are they fixing up? What are they fixing up? What are, what are they fixing? What are they going to need to fix up? Track down your fears and desires. Set your sights higher. So it is definitely saying you're about to compromise your standards. Maybe because you feel like you have to. Oh, but I understand what it's saying. It's like, that's fine. It's like, it's the steps. It's the steps that we talked about coming around full circle. This sense of once you have gotten over the fear and you've seen that you can work in a less than perfect situation, you can then turn this around and level it up. Or you're just going to want something else. This is, this is the energy of somebody who's never going to be satisfied because they're really not satisfied with the concept to begin with. This is, this is the, the routine we get into when we're actually not listening to our heart chakra at all. So where is Sagittarius's heart supposed to be? It's still in the past. All this shit is coming out in the past. What you saw in another person in the past They didn't listen to you. They didn't believe in your dreams. And honestly, they shit all over you. I gotta go to tarot. You gotta go to tarot too. Please join me. But both links, both links are below. Remember, yeah, both links are below. I'll see you guys over there.